Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create this nice looking fox logo. So let's turn on this layer and you would notice it's a picture of a fox. So this picture's link is in the description below, you can download it anytime. So basically you have to put triangles all over the fox face and try to make the triangles point to the direction where the hair is going. So if the hair is going to the left, the triangles should be pointed towards the left. If the hair is going to the right, the triangles should be pointed towards the right. And if the eye is a circular shape, the triangles should follow the path of a circular shape. So what's nice about this effect that you can have any picture you want, if whether it's a human, an animal, an insect, or whatever you want, and just fill it with triangles and color it and you would have this nice effect. So I'm gonna explain later on more while I'm working on it. So let's create a new layer and we have to lock the pictures layer and let's remove this layer and let's start and you have to draw the triangles on the layer 3 which is the new white layer you created so let's get the pen tool and let's start so let's zoom in and start drawing the first triangle here in this light brown area and remember if you want to draw another triangle which is sticking to your previous triangle you have to press escape and then hold shift and click on the anchor and start a new triangle and avoid not holding shift because it will have the minus sign and it, the triangle will lose its anchor so hold shift and click and now you can start another triangle which is connected to the previous triangle and hold shift here and click and close this and hold shift and click and create another triangle and shift and click on this anchor and start another triangle. You can see here that I'm creating triangles that are flowing with the hair. So where the direction of the hair leads, the triangle will follow. So I'm creating this triangle like this, so it follows this kind of dark brown. And now I'm going to follow this yellowish brown with triangles going with the same direction. And now I'm going to follow the white hair with a same direction triangle. And now I'm going to create small triangles to represent these small hairs on the edges. Hold shift, click here, click here, and continue this kind of small hairs on the end, on the edge. Let's do more. The more details you add, the more details your project will have. And like this. Okay, when we start with the eye, try to make triangles that kind of capture every color there. So you can see there's a blue area and a yellow area in the eye. So we'll try to make triangles that kind of capture all the shades of blue and triangles which capture all the shades of yellow. So as you can see, I made triangles that kind of capture the white, light blue, and now the dark blue. And try not to make these triangles overlap on the yellow area. So the blue area has some triangles and the yellow area has some triangles. Don't make them overlap. Another triangle here to get this very light blue. And now let's start with this yellow area. Try to make these triangles on the line of the circle. Like a circular shape triangles. So it can get this kind of circular shape of the eye and now all these triangles on the right are gonna be yellow When you're doing the whiskers of the fox, try to make very tiny long triangles. Maybe two of them or three. 
create this long tiny triangle and this very long one too and maybe another one here and we should make a third one yeah here very long triangles and close them here hold shift and click and then hold shift click here and then here and we should make another one but there's no space down so let's create just one here and that's how you create whiskers and you paint them black later on And after you're done drawing all the triangles, now you need to color it. Select everything and get the bucket tool or press K and press once. And now we can color each triangle. Now get the eyedropper, zoom in and let's start with the nose. Take this color and paint and then another color and paint. Try to make it different shades so it will look much better. On the light areas, make it a bit lighter. Try to, like, with the eyedropper, take a very light color within this color pool. Color, eyedropper, select a color, then get the paint bucket and paint. And do this for everything. So when working with the eyedropper, you have to pick up the colors which are related or shades of the dominated color in the triangle. So here you can see in the triangles, there are white or beige dominated color. So you have to pick up shades of that color. So now you can see here, the dominated color is yellow. So we have to pick up shades of yellow only. Don't pick up any orange color in the triangle. Pick up only the yellow shades or any related color of relating to yellow. So now here you can see the dominated color is orange or brown, so you can pick up shades or related colors to brown and orange only.
and the whiskers, although there's no black underneath it, but painted black anyway just for the contrast. And when we are done, go to the layers, remove the visibility of the picture, select everything, and remove the stroke. And here we're done. And you can always make some changes, like maybe color this light spot in this dark area, and whatever you don't like. And that's it.